mix things up a little bit as a comedian and tell you a little bit about me. Uh, I am queer. I like to get that one out of the way right away because uh, it's not great to be a straight man right now. <laughs> Besides, you know, all the power that you still have. Uh, but, you know, I'm like, I, I'm bisexual, so I'm not like trying to take anybody's diversity grant. I'm just making it clear I'm not the oppressor. <laughs> being a straight man right now is a lot like being a German in the 1950s. I'm not saying that all Germans were Nazis. All Nazis were German. <laughs> get that right out of the way. I am, I am, I'm bisexual. Uh, I, when I came out, a friend of mine was like, that's so funny, you don't look bisexual. <laughs> Which is odd, because at the time, I had a dick in my mouth, and I was risking it. I'm sorry. I can never say that with a straight face. <laughs> Um, I'm actually, I, I am actually not bisexual. <laughs> I know. Uh, I, I am pansexual, which is like bisexual plus. Uh, I'm, yes, it, it, it's true. Pansexual, it's basically like if my server is like, uh, would you like a glass of wine? And I'm like, sure. Red or white? Whatever's handy. <laughs> I'm thirsty, not stubborn. <laughs> You look confused. So pansexual is a word <laughs> that my generation invented that essentially means that like, uh, uh, I don't care what you're working with down here, as long as you're hot up here. <laughs> I'm still shallow, but I'm wide open. I'm like a tide pool. The same friend who uh, asked, uh, that I don't look bisexual, who doesn't exist, uh, asked, oh so, oh, so you're pansexual, so you'll just sleep with anyone? And to that, I say, why? What are you doing there? <laughs> I'm very easy. I know you're supposed to play hard to get, but I'm very easy to get. Like a participation ribbon, or cancer. <laughs> uh, I am also a non-binary person. <laughs> You, but you don't have non-binary. It's the uh, it's the gender equivalent of being vegan. Valid, but annoying. <laughs> like I, it means I use they them pronouns, and everybody hears that they're like, that's not our grammar. Uh, and I get it, it's not, but like, here's the thing about grammar. You know how every few months, like, your phone will update, and you're like, oh, this didn't look the way it did, and then a few days later, you're like. Oh. <laughs> You'll get used to it, but I understand it's annoying in the, in, to begin with. It's an adjustment. It's annoying for me because I'm, I, you know, I don't look the most uh, trans that you can, um, and non-binary is a form of being trans. It's, it's just it's, it's the same way that like Russia is a part of Asia. <laughs> Not the first thing you think of, but technically true. Not the way you think of like. Thailand. For both. <laughs> well, I am, I'm a, a non-binary person. I'm kind of, I'm trying to figure out where that is because I'm really like straddling, you know, the two camps right now. I'm like an independent. I'm not helping anybody. I'm just like, <laughs> But I don't want to go more toward, uh, toward women. I'm, I'm definitely not a woman, but I'm Certainly not a man. I'm, I'm tall, and I have half a mustache, but, uh, <laughs> Like, I'm not a man. I can be used as a substitute in most recipes, but, like, I'm not... a full man. Like, nobody's ever seen me and go, man. They might go, boy? Uh, <laughs> even my name, Trevor. Trevor is not a manly name. <laughs> Nobody's ever been like, what happened to you? Trevor just kicked my ass. <laughs> Nobody's ever been like, hey, do you know where Trevor is? I need someone to help me fix my car. <laughs> Nobody's ever been like, Trevor, thank you for all the orgasms. That's never... <laughs> I guess that's what being a man is to me, is being good with your hands. You know? 